Now let's go out to Alexa Sita, who has the latest safety information in our monthly community safety watch. Alexa. Thanks, Ben. Well, we originally were going to come to you from a local gym parking lot, but due to the weather, we're inside the Torrance Police Department assembly room, once again joined by Lieutenant Mark Athan. And we'll get to the significance of our original location in just a moment. But we ask for, for this month's Community Safety Watch segment, we ask the community to submit questions to us. Now, how did we go about doing that? Uh, we reached out through our social media here at the police department. We uh, pushed it out on our Facebook and our Twitter uh, pages. And then uh, I saw that it was picked up by the local Daily Breeze newspaper as well. So we publicized it uh, through our social media and then through the local newspaper. Well, you know, another great reason to subscribe to the Twitter feed and to be, a, yeah, to be a friend on Facebook. You get all this insider information, so to speak. So we did receive several questions, and we received quite a few about this one particular topic. So we selected one question. It's going to come to us from Colleen in South Torrance, and she writes, I've heard that there have been break-ins to cars that are parked in gym parking lots. I work out at Bally's, and I want to know why these cars are being targeted. So, Lieutenant Nathan, tell us what's going on. Well, there's no one uh, workout or gym facility in particular that's being targeted. It's just a, a common theme that we're seeing throughout the city at our uh, membership workout facilities where uh, auto burglars are targeting the parking lots where they think or they're seeing that uh, the patrons of the workout facilities are storing their valuables uh, either in the car, in the uh, passenger compartment area, or more specifically, in their trunks. We're seeing that what's happening is when the people are visiting uh, the workout facility to go in and get their workout, the citizens are commonly storing their purses, their wallets, their gym bags, or what have you, and getting out of their car and going to their trunk and storing them in there. And uh, the, the thieves are actually watching this and, are, and know that this is a great opportunity for them to break into a car where they know where a valuable is going to be and they also know that they have a window of opportunity that they know they're going to go in and work out for whether it be 30 minutes 60 minutes so if these criminals are sitting and watching these gym parking lots and seeing the patrons go and put the valuables in the trunks of their car once they go inside the facility they know they have a window of opportunity there they know they have a, a good time period but they also know that their chance of success from hitting that trunk is is of high value so that's why gym parking lots in particular are sort of being targeted. This kind of crime can happen anywhere if you leave valuables. I mean, I do this sometimes if I'm running into Starbucks. I don't take my whole bag with me. I grab cash and go inside. Now I'm thinking that's fast because it's a couple of minutes I'm going to be inside. So this is the perfect opportunity because a lot of people don't like to use the lockers in gyms. Right. And they're usually going to be in there for at least a half an hour. Right. It's like the perfect storm, the perfect combination to where uh, people don't want to use, utilize the lockers inside for whatever reason, whether there's a cost or they just you know, think it's not safe in there. Or for whatever reason, they're not using the lockers or, and they feel that their car is more safe. So, yeah, it's a perfect storm to where they know they have a, a window of opportunity there that's an extended period of time. And they have actually sat and watched the patron put something in the trunk and they would think that, well, they're only putting it in the trunk because it is of value. So that's where the, the criminal wants to hit is the trunk, and they know they have a good time period there. So if you do decide, well, I'm going to leave stuff in the car, but I'm going to take my wallet with me. I'm going to take whatever cash I have with me or maybe take whatever valuables I have. And you decide to leave whatever else you have in your car, that's a bad idea too. Yeah, that's still enticing. It is still enticing to the criminal to where they're going to come up, uh, even if you have somebody just walking through the parking lot or targeting somewhere, they're going to come up and look inside of the car. And if they look inside of a vehicle and they don't see anything out in plain sight that even could be a value, they're, they're going to leave that car alone. But if they look inside of a car and they see, you know, a backpack, a gym bag, or something that could be holding something of value, even if it's really not, they're still going to break into that car and cause damage to your car from the break-in. Even though they may end up not taking anything from your car, your car has still suffered the break-in. We should also mention that it's not just credit cards that, that uh, thieves are going after. There are a couple of items that they're also looking for, and there are triggers that they might come upon in a car. Right. The, the word that we're trying to get out to the community is just don't leave anything that is a, of any level of enticement to the criminal, whether it be 
just the, uh, the outlet chargers for your mobile devices. Um, specifically, the, the, GPS, the, the GPS devices, people are actually leaving in their cars. So please don't leave anything that's in plain sight of value, or, and please don't leave anything in plain sight that could indicate there could be something of value. Because a lot of people, like you indicated, what, uh, something that you do, something that I do a lot of the time is I'll unplug my, my cellular phone and leave the charger in plain view, but put the cellular phone in my armrest or in my glove box. And that's still an indication or a hint to the criminal that there may still be something in that car. So, and they know that we do that as, you know, as citizens, that we all do that. They do that, we do that, we unplug our devices and just throw them someplace out of sight, but they're still really in there. So the word we're trying to get out is just don't leave anything in plain sight in your car that could be uh, at all enticing. Well, it's something that so many of us do, but it bears repeating the common sense advice not to leave any valuables in your car and don't leave anything that may entice a car burglar to break in as well. Well, thank you once again, Lieutenant Ethan, for all that valuable information. We will be back again next month with more community safety information for the Torrance community. Until then, I'm Alexa Sita. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Alexa. And remember, if you have any questions about safety, crime trends, or how the police department works, we can get you those answers. Send them to this week at torrentca.gov or call us at 310-618-5762. In addition to your question, please tell us your name and what area of Torrance you're from, and we'll try to have the police department answer it on the show.